thank you so much for joining me today on my channel. My name is Rosalind Bissell, and I'm so excited today. I have a great friend and goddess of all things interior and planning, Ms. Kimberly Phipps Nickel. She is the creator of and founder and proprietor of Blue Water Studios. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for the invite. I'm super happy to be here. Absolutely. And as you can see, this fabulous fashionista is one of my just Hermes, just <laughs> fabulous collector, artists, creatives. You, she has so many definitions. And so I wanted to talk to her today about her collection and some of the things that she's done to use her scarves as both an accessory for fashion and a home accessory. So you can already see some of these beautiful scarves that we have Thank you. as pillows. And we also have this one and all these over here that are absolutely gorgeous. And can you tell us a little bit to start about the designs and how you came to want to use them as more of a home accessory as well as a fashion accessory? Certainly. Um, I was, I've had, quite a few scarves for probably about 15 years or so and um, because in fashion you know you're using them in different ways right? right you have these great tutorials on how to tie your scarves and so when you're working with the scarves you realize that you can view these patterns in a variety of different ways and that the artists that Hermé hires um, they have the, an eye for composition color detail all of these things that make for a beautiful piece and when I design a space, in many ways it kind of feels like I'm dressing myself or I'm dressing my client's brand for, um, or their space for their brand. And so with the scarves, I first saw someone make pillows out of scarves many years ago. And it used to be that you would just use the front piece and then you put a different piece on the back and it would be really big or you'd use a small scarf. Okay. Um, I was at a show a few years ago and I saw that someone had used a, a regular 90 centimeter square scarf and made it into a rectangle, which just fascinated me because I thought, you know, I, I love geometry. It's yeah. what we do in design. And how, how did that work? Uh, and so I was looking at them and realized that they were made of a down fill. Okay. I'm allergic to down. Yeah. And so I couldn't, I couldn't enjoy it for very long. <laughs> and so I thought, but I have all of these scarves and I wonder if there's any that would be better used in a pillow instead of as an accessory. And so I went home and started looking at all of the, the scarves that I had and started finding that interestingly enough, the way the artists lay out their patterns, um, some scarves are fabulous for a, a straight rectangular look. And then some, if they're printed, what we call on the bias, which is at a 45 degree angle, mm -hmm. those are better as a square shape. Yeah. And then bolsters, a, a lot of times the patterns that look great in rectangle look great in bolsters, but some look better than others, the way the centralized design lays out. Right. And so I started working with fill that I could find that was hypoallergenic because one of my specialties is um, healthy workspaces and healthy homes. And so I was looking for a way that people that maybe had allergy sensitivities could, could still enjoy these beautiful pieces. And so pretty much all the scarves I come across, either the rectangle, the bolster, or the square, it, the pattern will tell me which shape it needs to be. Well, these are absolutely beautiful. Thank you. I mean, I, um of course, love Emmy <laughs> scarves. And so she, she came over to my house one day with one of these and I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, they're gorgeous. Thank you. So um, tell me a little bit more about your collection. So how long ago did you start collecting your scarves? Probably about 15 years ago. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I have, uh, in my personal collection, I probably have about 15. Mm -hmm. um, and then I will rotate through about 20 scarves that I will have at any given time for projects. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. So do you have one that's like your favorite? I have two oh, that are okay. my favorite. Yeah, we'll okay, so, um, and there, there's, my favorites, um, I don't believe in empty gestures. Okay. And so there's a reason that things tend to be my favorite. Right. And this particular pattern that I love so much, one, um, the main reason that it is my favorite is because it is presented in a style 
that is very similar to how I do my drawings. And so this is what's called a title block. Correct. Yes. yes. And then you see all of these beautiful dimensions and notations. Right. So as soon as I saw that pattern, I instantly resonated with it as something that was meaningful for the work that I do for a living, of course. And then I have one other favorite. And this is, it is actually the very first pattern of Hermes scarf that I ever had. And it's a Donner la main, forgive my French. Um, <laughs> but it means to hold out one's hand. And it's so beautiful because it has depictions of people in traditional clothing holding hands with each other, which I think is a very peaceful and welcoming gesture. Absolutely. And so that, that's why I, I had to have two favorites. I couldn't just have one. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, where can we find these beautiful designs? Are they for sale? I mean, I mean, how do we, or you just keep these all to yourself? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have boys in my house. I don't keep these to myself. <laughs> um, these are available for sale and okay. I have them on my website, okay. which is uh, bws-htx.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I tried to keep it super simple, and um, on my website it, there's tabs, and obviously there's tabs for the design process as well, but um, there's a store tab, and under the store tab is where you would see the pillows. Oh, this is wonderful. Thank we you. really appreciate you coming out and sharing this information with us. I love it, and I hope you guys love it. So for more information about Kim, of course, please visit her website. And thank you so much for joining us today. If you want to see more videos on health, wellness, and a fashionable lifestyle, please subscribe to the channel today. And you can also visit me at www.roslynbazell.com.